My name is Bill Tanser. I'm the co-founder and chief data scientist at Cygnos. I joined Cygnos after working at Experian where I was the senior vice president of data and research. And I started at Experian through an acquisition of a startup I was working at that was called Hitwise. And at Hitwise, we were monitoring the largest sample of internet users in the world, 10 million in the US and 25 million worldwide. And it was my job to analyze the daily internet habits of all those users. Through that, I actually found some amazing insights and data. And I wrote a book called Click, What Millions of People Do Online and Why It Matters. That became a New York Times bestseller and also led to a time column uh, that I wrote, uh, a column for Time Magazine called The Science of Search. And I guess I would describe myself as a data evangelist and also a data scientist that specializes in massive data sets and gleaning insights from those data sets. We first need to talk about two trends that are important. The first is reactive versus proactive. And the second is precision nutrition and precision health. With reactive and proactive, up until today, we didn't go to the doctor until we were sick. And now the trend is, is to help uh, individuals out with their health through being proactive by monitoring things and correcting things before they ever become a problem. And we can do that with precision nutrition and precision advice. And that's what Cygnos does. We help you get in front of issues by monitoring your metabolism through glucose, and then also help you by prescribing specifically what you should eat and how you should exercise to achieve optimal health through your metabolism. So you get your box from Cygnos, and in there you've got everything you need. You've got Dexcom sensors, you've got a transmitter, you've got even the alcohol swabs and the patch that covers the device. Once you get that, you put that on, we walk you through how you do that. And then we start getting signals from Dexcom that go into Cygnos. So when you uh, start to accumulate that data and you're logging food and you're logging exercise, we start to understand your metabolism. And then the magical part is that once we've got that data, both from you and from the device, we can start to predict what's gonna happen when you eat a specific item of food. And we can not only predict that, we can also tell when you're starting to spike and prescribe movement or exercise to mitigate that spike. Those two things together really help you manage your metabolism in a way that will help you lose weight, will give you more energy, feel better and achieve optimal health. The big difference between Cygnos and our competitors is the fact that we provide actionable data. I think this is so important because anyone can go and get a CGM and get their glucose data. But then the question is, what do you do with that data once you have it? With Cygnos, we're all about prescribing the specific things you can do to achieve your goals. And we do that through a number of different ways. The first way is just through our predictive algorithms. So uh, that's a, a big differentiator for us versus the competition is we make those predictions and they're personalized to you. But then we also have evidence, an evidence-based curriculum, which provides uh, our members with a lot of steps that they can take to optimize their health from all the research that's available out there in terms of how glucose interacts with, um, with your metabolism and also how uh, things like sleep and stress can affect your, um, your glucose and your metabolism. All together, it's the, the holistic view of your health that helps you manage these things and, and achieve that optimal health. Well, the answer to that question is you actually can get a CGM on your own. So when I tried to do that, I went to my doctor and I had heard the buzz about using glucose data to manage your health. This is pre-Cygnos. And my doctor said, you, you don't need a CGM. So um, I wasn't able to get one, but I know of friends that have been able to convince their doctors to, to get them a prescription for a CGM. The question though, is that once you get that device, what are you gonna do with it next? What you're gonna get is uh, the basic reporting functionality that comes with a CGM. It's mostly just a graph, and it's also meant for people that have type one and type two diabetes. For type one diabetics, it's a life-saving device. Uh, and a lot of the data is, is presented in a way to facilitate that specific audience. So 
what do you do with this data? That's what you need Cygnos for. So even though you can get one on your own, I really don't suggest that you do, that you use Cygnos to provide you with all the advice, the activities, the research, and, and the functionality that you need for that actionable data, which we provide. We get that question a lot, and I've gotten that question wearing uh, my Cygnos um, patch in, in public is, why do you need a CGM? And it's not unusual in the medical community that we have a specific medication or device that is then repurposed. Like a lot of people don't know that aspirin, which was originally uh, invented as an analgesic as something to manage pain, also found a far greater use, and that is to prevent clots. So it's not unusual to find a device that's now, you know, just geared towards type 1 diabetics, then finding a solution for type 2 diabetics, and even for a healthy population. The reason I think that this device is so critical for somebody who's healthy is that it gives you a window and insight into your own metabolism. And if you have that, you're going to make some connections you may not have made before. Things like how sleep or stress affect your metabolism. I've made that connection in my own life, and it's been invaluable to me.